and welcome to another tutorial for Construction Office Online. Right now we're going to look at how to adjust the print settings on a template. This is a schedule that we're looking at here. We've received several questions that have asked us how to print these templates uh, so that it's not huge. I'm using Excel 2007. I'm going to go to View and then I'm going to click on Page Break Preview. And what this does is it will show us where the lines are uh, in this entire workbook of where the printing process is actually going to stop. So this blue line indicates page one and there's the break to page six. Uh, the way that this is set up it prints down so from top to bottom it'll print the pages. If I scroll way out you can see here's page two and it goes down to page three, four, and five comes back up to six. What we're going to do is pretend that we want to actually only print out the general conditions portion of this schedule and we only want to go let's say to August 23rd here okay so what I'm gonna do is actually zoom way out this is the easiest fastest way to do this you gotta be patient because your Excel is processing a lot of data you can see the hourglass working there and now we see this dark or solid blue line I'm gonna grab it notice the cursor changes I'm not clicking any buttons okay I'm gonna put my cursor over it until it turns diagonally now I'm gonna left click on it and hold that button down and bring this all the way up I just wanna get closer for right now so I can zoom back in and see where I'm at so I'm gonna bring it up to about here okay and we may have to pull it in to the left a little bit I'm gonna give my machine a little bit of time to work here and you'll notice all of those blue lines are gone I'm gonna hold my control key down and use the mouse wheel to zoom back into my page. Notice I clicked a cell inside the area I'm zooming into because that's what Excel is going to do. It's going to zoom you into the page. Now we're a little closer. I'm going to grab this corner again and I'm going to bring it up here so that we're showing the week of the 23rd and only the general conditions. Let me double check that week and make sure we're in the right week. Nope. So I've got to go out a little bit further, drag this bar so that it picks up the 23rd. Here we have another break. It's wanting to break our Friday from our Saturday. Let me zoom in here so you can see. So what we're gonna do, instead of having a page here and a page here, I'm gonna grab this blue line right here and I'm gonna drag it out to the outside. Okay, now that will change the size of the sheet when you go to print preview and it will change it in print as well. So let's go take a look at it. I'm opening print preview and you can see it's actually not too bad. What it did was by dragging that line out what it did was it changed it from 100% printing down to 97% automatically. That just forced it to fit inside of one page so I don't have any other pages to look at. And that's how we do it. Now just so you know this is not something that we do very often. In fact the reason we designed the template like this was to avoid having to do this. That's why we created these outlines here on the left hand side so that we could simplify the template. The other thing that we do is we all are looking at blueprints. So we're all very familiar with the sizes of those blueprints and we're all familiar with how to print the blueprints. What we do instead is print the sheets to a PDF file or to a file that our Ripper graphics company can translate in their printers and we set it to the same scale as our Ripper Graphics company would produce. So we can create A, B, C, or even D size sheets of this schedule. And we like to work that way best. We can put this up on the wall inside the job trailer um, or somewhere close to the job and we can also put it up on the wall in our office so that as our project management team is uh, evaluating crews and uh, timing and scheduling issues we can reflect on a, a full size sheet instead of a little portion of a sheet but it doesn't mean you can't print to smaller sizes if there's a video you'd like to see go to constructionofficeonline.com and submit a request you can find that by going to constructionofficeonline.com scroll down to video requests fill out this form for us simply enter your name email address and what is it you'd like to see we'd like to know thank you again